If need be, there are two different ways to start up a stalled engine, either by using jump start cables or through an auxiliary power source. Always wear eye protection and other personal protective equipment when jump starting a machine. This machine has a 24 volt starting system. The wrong jump start cable connection or a difference in voltage between the batteries could cause them to explode. So only use equal voltage for jump starting. On the stalled machine, place the transmission control switch in the neutral position. Engage the parking brake on the stalled machine and lower the equipment to the ground. Turn the engine start switch on the stalled machine to the off position. Turn the master switch on the stalled machine to the on position. Move the machine that is being used as an electrical source near the stalled machine so that the jump start cables will reach, but do not allow the machines to contact each other. Stop the engine of the machine that is being used as an electrical source. Ensure the battery caps on both machines are tight and correctly placed. Frozen batteries tend to swell. Charging a frozen battery may cause it to explode. Ensure that the batteries in the stalled machine are not frozen. If you have frozen batteries, safely remove them from the machine and store them indoors until they defrost or replace them. After the batteries have warmed up, then try jump starting them. The positive ends of the jump start cable are red. Connect one positive end of the jump start cable to the positive cable terminal of the discharged battery. Keep in mind that some machines have multiple batteries. Most motor graders are powered by two 12 volt batteries that are joined together in a series, creating a 24 volt system. Batteries that are joined together in a series have a jumper wire that connects the negative terminal of the lead battery to the positive terminal of the additional battery. The remaining positive and negative terminals are wired to the machine. Some machines can also be powered through 12 volt battery systems that consist of two 12 volt batteries that are joined together in parallel. Batteries that are joined in parallel have a jumper wire that connects the two positive terminals of both batteries together, as well as a jumper wire that connects the two negative terminals. Additionally, a second set of jumper wires are connected to the negative and positive terminals of the second battery, which lead to the machine. Use the terminal that is connected to the starter solenoid. This battery or battery set is normally on the same side of the machine as the starting motor. Do not allow the positive cable clamps to contact any metal except the battery terminals. Connect the other positive end of the jumper start cable to the positive cable terminal of the charging battery. Likewise, connect one negative end of the jump start cable to the negative cable terminal of the charged battery. In 24 volt battery systems, the negative cable terminal of the charged battery is connected to the master switch. Connect the other negative end of the jump start cable to the frame of the stalled machine. Do not connect the jump start cable to the battery post and do not allow those cables to contact the battery cables, the fuel lines, the hydraulic lines, or any other moving parts. Start the engine of the machine that is being used as an electrical source. Wait at least two minutes before you attempt to start the stalled machine as this will allow its batteries to partially charge. If successful, immediately disconnect the jump start cables in reverse order, starting with the negative cable on the stalled machine, the negative cable on the charging battery, the positive cable on the charging battery, and the positive cable on the stalled machine. Some machines also have an auxiliary jump post that requires a special cable to use it. Severely discharged batteries will not fully recharge from the alternator alone after a jump start. The batteries must be charged to their proper voltage with a battery charger.